Creating visual art is one of the defining characteristics of the human species. In recent decades, globalization has challenged our notions about what constitutes art. The origins of art are ancient and lie within Africa before worldwide human dispersal. The artist, the meaning and the purpose of most forms of prehistoric rock art remain shrouded in mystery, mostly because these communities used oral storytelling traditions. This knowledge has disappeared due to the eradication of these cultures by colonization. These ancient cultures and their prehistoric visual records were regarded as primitive by the Europeans who claimed their land and resources. The term Western art largely describes the art of Western Europe, but is also used as a general category for forms of art that are now geographically widespread, but that have their roots in Europe. Unlike prehistoric art, Western art underwent many changes in relation to power struggles among its nations. This changed the way art was made, who it was made for, and how it was recorded and promoted by historians using the written word. From the Middle Ages up until the 19th century, most artworks were commissioned by the church and the state. Artists could not express themselves freely and the man on the street could never own artworks. The 19th century saw many fundamental changes in society and art. The decline of the royalty and the church power meant that many traditional subjects for art became less and less relevant. The Industrial Revolution and the rise of new technologies produced new working methods and art materials. New political and economic structures broadened the free market for art through public exhibitions, private galleries and dealers. This meant that increasingly artists could be driven by their own desires rather than those of their patrons. Academies generally resisted these changes leading to a gulf between academic art and the avant-garde. More than ever before, artists came to be regarded as creative and independent, a long way from their medieval predecessors, who were regarded as craftspeople in the service of the state or the church. They also initiated the first public art exhibitions, making artworks usually destined for private ownership accessible to all Europeans. 